so I'm starting my trip in rainy Ljubljana waiting for the bus to take me to the airport so let's hope I get there because there are floods and everything let's hope this trip happens so I made it to the airport the bus came and the roads were drivable so I made it now I have to wait here for like five hours until my flight but yeah what can we do but when you wait I wait in style Oh, and I forgot to tell you how much the price is from Ljubljana to airport. So the normal price is 4 euros 10, but since it's weekend, I only paid 1 euro 30 cents. So that's pretty cheap. And if you want to go from airport to Ljubljana, the normal price is 4 euros 10 as well. So I think if you go on weekends, it's 1 euro 30. So. If you arrive here on weekends or leave the city on weekends, it's uh, 1 euro 30. So yeah, quite a good price compared to taxes, which will charge you, I don't know, 25 euros to 50 euros. So yeah, this is the Ljubljana airport. And I'm hiding here from the rain. Yeah. What can we do? It rains. But in Serbia, it doesn't, so... Good choice, good choice. <laughs> and yeah, this time I'm traveling light to Serbia. So, I only have my bag. And I have my little hand luggage. There it is. See how small it is? I don't even think it's 7 kilos. Because I only took like... Three short pants and maybe four t-shirts because I'll be staying in different apartments and I can wash there and I'll only be there for 15 days so I think it's enough so I'm inside Ljubljana airport and the checkings haven't started yet so at least one or two more hours of waiting so what can you do what can you do so Ljubljana airport is a very small one and one of the biggest problems they have, you see, there's just no sitting area at the uh, departures, so there's like 8 seats and there's like 20 people at least now, so there's nowhere to sit, you have to stand and just wait for the checking to open, you know. Terrible, terrible, and to think the Germans own this, you know. They should be more efficient, but they're not. They're not. And what else can you get at Ljubljana Airport? Of course, there's the toilet, and you have the ATM machine, and the vending machine, but it's like half empty. But you can get some snacks, and let me see if I can focus on the prices. Ah, it's so bad lighting, so. Snickers bar, around three euros. All the other chocolates also three euros. So, and drinks two and a half euro for a little can of Coke, two euro sixty. And then you have a coffee machine that costs how much do you cost? It doesn't tell you how much it costs. <laughs> and here, this is the most interesting one. It's like a pharmacist machine, so you can get your <laughs> protection. Uh, women's fingers, <laughs> gloves, the antibacterial spray, the toothpaste and stuff like that, blisters and down in the end. I don't know what that is. Some medicine I guess. So yeah, that's what Ljubljana Airport in Slovenia offers. So yeah, small place with big queues <laughs> not that big but I don't know they usually open two hours before the flight for the checking but yeah we still have like one hour two hours to go 
so yeah let's see if they open or not who knows who knows so the check-in luckily opened three hours before so I made it past the check-in the security checking and now we are at duty free so let's see get some drink or something so I got some typical Slovenian wine from the Linska region turn for the whole bottle it will set you back 6 euros 90 which is a good deal if you think that they sell those little bottles for two deciliters for six euros so that's a bargain plus you can ask for a glass with ice so you have nice chilled wine and duty free in Ljubljana airport oh that's a good deal there goes the wine Nice, innocent, and a little sharp, a little fizzy. A perfect summer wine. Still waiting for my boarding, about one hour twenty. So I bought some martini to go with me to Serbia and of course to enjoy a glass here. Cheers. <laughs> Look, it's red. Today I'm only drinking red drinks, so cheers. So the flight should take about two hours to Nish, the third largest city in Serbia and then I'll take a taxi to accommodation because there is no public transport so late and I don't know if I'm still up to it we'll go out and see the nightlife if not we'll see it tomorrow <laughs> and yeah traveling with Air Serbia uh, the only bad thing is they do not have online check-in here in uh, Slovenia so you have to check in uh, you have to wait for the check-in to open, so you have to be here two or three hours before checking to your flight. So that's a bad thing about Air Serbia and Slovenia. You should really work on it and make it digital, you know, so people can do it online and then they can come whenever they want. Yeah? So I'm here in duty free watching my plane to start boarding but still it doesn't start boarding because like three planes before they were all half an hour late so I'm expecting half an hour delay as well for this plane let's hope it doesn't happen but who knows so one more hour to go it's still at check-in phase so <laughs> who knows if it will be on time but let's see let's see so, at 9 o'clock, the alcohol sales in Slovenia stop because it's not allowed to sell alcohol after 9 o'clock in Slovenia unless you are a bar. So, they must cover all these shelves <laughs> and all those shelves because it's forbidden to sell alcohol in store after 9 o'clock in the evening until 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah. What can I say? We are a nation of drunkards, so <laughs> that's how they want to control us. <laughs> Does it help? Not really. As predicted, two hours delay to Nish. Hopefully two hours, who knows? It may be more. But yeah. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, guys, still waiting for my airplane. Air Serbia had like two hour delay when the flight was supposed to leave 
He didn't leave the previous airport, so I contact my booking. Thank God, people in Isha are very nice, and they said, "Yeah, when you come, you ring this and this number, <laughs> and we'll answer." So, <laughs> no problem there. I hope I have my accommodation for tonight. But uh, yeah, what can I say? So this is the Ljubljana Airport <laughs> waiting room <laughs> for before departure to the airport. There is one bar open here. But I don't think those, they, they, they sell alcohol there, so you can get water, juice, or whatever, you know. We are like Arabic country. <laughs> but you can get a burger or something, yeah. They have beer, maybe they have beer, but overpriced one, so. Like you can have sandwiches for eight euros yeah, or donuts for undisclosed price. <laughs> we also have vending machines here, but as you see, half empty, half empty. I don't get it. They don't restock. So, yeah, still no hostesses there. So, definitely. We will not be on time, at least two hours delay, or even more, maybe even three hours. But they don't know, if it's more than three hours, I can sue them and get the compensation up to 300 euros. So I hope it will be more than three hours. So I would pay my flight and the hotel for the night, you know? Yeah. So yeah, let's hope it's more than three hours. So after about three hours of waiting for boarding to start, we're still waiting for Air Serbia to start boarding. So I finally made it through boarding after three hours delay. My God. Now we have to climb down the stairs. So this is the Iron Bird. We are about to take that one goes to Belgrade also that one is four hours late this one is three hours late so yeah there's Serbia that's Air Serbia for you guys so I made it to the Bach airplane of Air Serbia. So now about two hours and we'll be in Nish. Hopefully, hopefully, if the plane doesn't. <laughs> so see you in Nish. Uh, I would like to apologize for delaying cause due to adverse weather situation uh, in the region and uh, uh, traffic control restrictions uh, flight. Thank you for understanding and patient. I wish you fast flight. Unfortunately, no nice girl showing us that. Safety measures. Whenever the seatbelt sign is switched on, please keep your seatbelt securely fastened. Your seatbelt like this, tightened so, uh, by pulling not sure the strap and unfastened <laughs> by lifting the upper flap and pulling the belt apart. The engine. So it's a propeller plane. Two propeller engines. <laughs> Unfortunately, the window is not very clear, so you can't see.
Welcome to Nish, Constantine the Great Airport. Yeah, guys, I made it to Nish, to Sweet Hotel, Sweet Hostel. It's a hostel, sorry. I don't have enough money for a hotel, so it's a nice little room. We share a bathroom, but it's okay. I even have AC kitchen and share a bathroom. And yeah, for five nights I paid 80 euros, so it's a good deal, I think. And yeah, I'm going to sleep now. It's three o'clock in the uh, morning. Uh, the taxi, I took a taxi from the airport to here and it was a little less than 500 dinars, which is about 5 euros, 4 point something, so, so it was good, they were not scammers, it was a nice guy, good niche taxi driver, so, now, my mistress awaits me there, take care guys, tomorrow we'll be discovering niche, today we were just traveling to niche, also the border control, uh, went very smoothly. I just give them the ID and after two seconds, I'm in Serbia. <laughs> Be sure to like, share and subscribe and see you tomorrow when I get some sleep. <laughs>